I'm stood above Loch Glencool. What is behind me is one of the most famous geological structures in the United Kingdom. I'm going to describe it for you to start off with. So at the top of the mountain, we've got these grey kind of hummocky, knobbly rocks. These are the Louisian gneiss. They're some of the oldest rocks in the United Kingdom. They're 2.1 billion years old and they form felsic and mafic banded gneisses. As we come down, there is a distinct break in slope and then we have a layered package of rocks. These are sedimentary rocks of the Cambrio or Division sequence. If we then come further down and see all this more hummocky, grey terrain, this again is the Louisian gneiss. So we've got Louisian gneiss, then we've got Cambro Ordovician sediments. So we're going from the Archean up into the Cambrian Ordovician, so that's kind of the right way up. But then when we get that break of slope, we suddenly go back into the 2.1 billion year Louisian gneiss. So what's happened? Well, what ha has happened is we've got a distinct low angle thrust plane there. So the Louisian gneiss have been pushed up over along this fault plane during compression. And that compression happened during the Caledonian orogeny. And this has formed the Glencool thrust. Now this is part of the larger Moyne thrust which is one of the first places where this kind of deformation was recognised in the world.